If you want to display an Instagram feed on your WordPress website, you can easily do that with a free WPZoom social feed plugin. Like many other plugins, a paid version with some extra features is available. If you find this video to be helpful and you decide to purchase the paid version, please consider doing so using my affiliate link in the video description. Go to your WordPress dashboard and install the WP Zoom social feed plugin from the official repository. After you activate the plugin, a new Instagram widget section will become available in the dashboard. Start by opening the feeds page. If you have access to the account that you want to connect to, then you can quickly do so using the first option. A pop-up will ask you to grant access to the current domain. The plugin will not have access to your password or other sensitive information. Even so, I recommend that you make it a habit to carefully review all the information when you're granting permissions to any app or service. After clicking on the Allow button, the access token will be generated and you should see this message. Click on OK. Now it's time to select what your feed will look like on the website. On the left side, select an account. If you're using the free version of a plugin, then you can connect only one account per website. After selecting your account, you will see some options on the left and a preview of your feed on the right. I rarely post anything to Instagram, so I set this to every two weeks. It's also a good idea to enable the request timeout feature. Clicking on the save button will take us to the next step. In the design tab, you can select a grid or list layout, the number of items, the number of columns in the grid layout and the padding around items. You can display the account name, username, image, details and a view on Instagram button below the images. The account name, image and user details can be added on the user's page, which I will get to later. Multiple other customization options are available, so feel free to experiment to find out what works best for your website. Save your settings and switch to the Embed tab. This plugin works best using a shortcode or a custom block. Because my WordPress theme has a full width widgetized area in the footer of the website, I will embed it using a shortcode. On the widgets page, I will open the full width widgetized area and I will add a standard text widget containing my shortcode. And this is what it looks like. You can also add the feed as a block. Edit a post or a page, select the appropriate location and add the Instagram feed by WP Zoom block. Once you select your feed, you will see what it looks like. Making changes to your feed will update the look of your widgets and blocks. On the Feeds page in the Accounts tab, you can edit the name, bio and the profile picture that will be displayed with your feeds. If you want to set a profile picture, I recommend that you select a small square image. Another thing to note is that you can have multiple feeds from the same account. For example, you may want to display a row of 10 small thumbnails in the footer of a website, but a large grid of images on some pages. Simply create two separate feeds with different design settings. Everything I showed you so far is available in the free version of a plugin. For many users, this is more than enough. The Pro version includes features like the ability to connect multiple accounts, two more feed layouts and a Load More button for infinite loading. This is what the masonry and the carousel layouts look like. And this is how the Load More feature works. Thank you for watching.